Despite the controversy surrounding a newspaper picture, brothers on the Sheboygan Falls basketball team tonight were allowed to take the court. Now they had been suspended. Never went through a game, but that temporary suspension was lifted just hours before the tip-off. That decision came this afternoon. The boys were in trouble over a photograph. This photograph, it was claimed that two of the brothers initially suspended, Jordan and Jawan Jackson, were using gang signs. But others say that was not the case at all. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht was at tonight's game in Plymouth and brings us balanced coverage. Sheboygan Falls sophomore Juwan Jackson hit three pointers with ease Friday night. Oh, it felt so good. Like when I heard that I could play, that, that was like the best feeling ever. Jackson and his brother Jordan almost weren't allowed to play, all because of this photograph taken in a local paper. All right, the camera came out. It's showtime. Why not like pose for the camera? Unknown to the Jacksons, their son Jordan was showing what a different school's liaison officer interpreted as a gang sign. We had no idea as they told us that it meant uh, gang the blood. So I was like, what? Okay, we had no idea. All we know is it's a three-point sign. That's it. Sheboygan Falls gave Juwan and Jordan Jackson a one-game suspension from the team, but the family challenged it. My motherly instinct came out. I was very upset. I was so upset that when we met uh, the first time with an officer, and uh, the athletic director, I mean, I, I was shaking. I was that upset. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. We are a good family. It's just, it's very frustrating when you're perceptive, you know, that way. The hearing to overturn the Jackson brothers' suspension happened here at the Sheboygan Falls District Office Friday afternoon. But when we came to speak to the district administrator and the athletic director, they would not tell us what went on in that closed-door meeting. I cannot comment specifically on the protected student records or the outcome of the hearing. I will say that the appeals procedure process was followed um, as outlined in the Athletic Code of Conduct, and I respect the decision of the extracurricular council. At the game, the community embraced the Jackson family. Their mother still in shock, her sons were able to take the court. Very surprised because they seemed pretty adamant that they were not going to change their mind. The Jacksons went on to have great games. Jawan hitting three three-point shots in the JV win over Plymouth. You know, they're our rivals, and the last game, it was very tough because we were beaten by, like, 20. Friday's victory didn't just burn brightly on the neon scoreboard. It radiated from the faces of the Jackson family. In Plymouth, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. The Jackson family also went on to say they did not expect their issue to get such attention, but they say they are grateful for the support they have received.